Hey everybody, Rodaman here. Thanks for tuning in to a brand new micro series of Hardspace Shipbreaker, adapted from a Twitch stream that went live June 28th. Well, let's jump right into it. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged, the Shipbreaker. The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. All right, so let's fill out the profile here. Also, I'm not sure why the frame rate of my camera is being weird, but okay. All right, here's my application status. I'm not going to read it all of it, but basically I'm above average slash exceptional physical and cognitive ability. Uh, fat chance of that. But um, it's also very loud. I'm going to have to turn that down. Let's go with vegetarian meal preference. I'm going to agree. No criminal record. I'm not in a union. Uh, I don't have McCullough lung. I don't own commercial real estate in the nation state of Arizona either. Um, yeah, no. Okay, hold on. There you go. It's really, really, really loud right now. Because um, I haven't adjusted the sound. Uh, positive attitude, problem solving. Uh, except the long-term exposure. And uh, I will vote. Oh, it's forcing me to vote for someone. Okay. So let's uh, let's do the training here. And I'm going to have to... Sound is working, yeah. It is now. I, I had it off because it was just... You would not be able to hear me. I didn't do all my homework. I didn't adjust the sound for, for recording. That's me right there. into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time when he and death meet, the next cutter that takes his seat. They have the opening cinematic. And it's going to run me through the tutorial here. Um, Welcome to Morgan Station. Before we jump in here, Cutter, it's customary to observe a moment of silence. One second. All right, so let me do the, uh, the audio thing now. Master volume down to, let's say, 40%. And that way, my ears don't go out. Is that good? Okay. Well, my name is Wee. I'll be your eyes and ears when you're into the yard. Used to be a cutter myself. Maybe a little louder. Should have should have done this beforehand, but uh, I did not. Complications with one of my clone jobs, but never you mind about that. Let's get to work. Go ahead and open your work order, 
and let's get started. All right, so work order would be tab. You ever want to pay off your debt like Sullivan did? It's all about completing your work orders. All right, so my work order thrusts forward for three seconds. One, two, three. And thrust backwards for three seconds. No, W and S alike. All right, that's descend. So that would be Charlie, as in C. C as in Charlie. And then ascend for three seconds. This is just getting you oriented with the uh, control schematic. Break for three seconds, which is left control. This is very important right. because... These next two maneuvers are tough for most worms to wrap their heads around because most of you have never spent time in zero G. Roll left. We call them rolls. Give them a shot. And then roll right. But the conservation of okay. momentum well, is very real. Your trusty training vessel. On it and in it are salvageable objects to cut your teeth with. Let's give her a go, shall we? Alright, so the grapple would be left mouse button. You get to to grab an item. As you can see, I can move it around. Uh, if you... I can't point exactly to it, but you see how it has one yellow square and two red squares? The yellow square and the red squares are sort of its health. Once it goes into its red, it starts becoming critical. Uh, and now I want to salvage it. And the salvage bar barge is below me. And I just hit F to grapple push it into the barge. And I've salvaged one of two Salve antenna. Alright, here's the other one. Well, congratulations, we did it. Bear Cutter. Your very first pieces of salvage. Another billion or so of them antenna, and you will have completely wiped out your debt. I'm kidding, of course. Alright, Cutter. You ready to perform a little zero-G ship surgery? Yep. Let's boot up your scanner and see what we see. Alright. Now we're looking for cut points. Think of them as the chunks of glue Thanks, that hold the key structural segments of the ship together. Alright, so the scanner allows you to see structural points. Bingo. So as you can see, the yellow here is the cut points. Just got to go ahead from control to unlock your cutting tool. You may now equip the Stinger head mount. I'm uploading the final work order objective required to complete your certification rank one training and... Yep, you guessed it. Let's get them nasos on the barge with them new tools of yours. All right, so the the stinger cut tool is a precision tool that basically deletes the part that you heat up. It looks like this, and poof, it's gone. And then we're gonna take this nacelle, and it's obviously has a lot more mass than the antennae that I. Uh, I shoved to the barn. So as you can see, it requires a little bit more effort to get into the barge, but um, the conservation of inertia is still there. It will get there eventually, as long as I aim correctly. All right, one and two switches between your two tools. Here's my other cutter tool. Salvage secured, credits deposited. And here's the other nacelle for the last of the tutorial. I'm just going to fling it at me. Also, don't let these things hit you. <laughs> it would hurt a lot. Um, Frenchie and Draco, thanks for the uh, resub of the bits. Now let's come on. Get moving. I want to finish this. Pew, pew. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. All right. The more work orders you complete, the closer you get to hitting your certification quotas. Go ahead and see where you're at on earning your first cert. Alright, so my certification is here. I'm done with my first certification. Woo! Let's dance. Certs gives you access to better upgrades and perks for your tools, gear, and equipment, as well as access to more valuable ships back in your hab. Speaking of which, let's mosey on over to your personal habitation unit right now, because... That's what you do when you finish your shift. 
You didn't think Lynx made you sleep out here in the yard, did you? We wrapped. Don't worry, I already know all about this game. I'm not new, this is not blind. I see a lot of tips that indicate that I don't know what I'm doing. But I do, perhaps. Uh, all right, so here is my current debt. Uh, here is the credits I earned. I also owe insurance on this debt, so it's hard to dig your way out of. Now, this is your hat. I know it feels a bit flat right now, but I hear Lynx is looking into fixing it up real nice for you sometime in the near future. Anyway, says here you're going to need an upgrade to complete your next certification rank. You're going to like this one, Cutter. Let's check it out now, shall we? So up here, you can see LT. This is your, like, uh, technology unlock points. Um, so here is the cutter, the split saw license. I will buy that. Good. Now let's get back to the yard so you can try this sucker out. Okay. Okay, before we hop back in the yard, I want to show you the ship catalog. Here. Uh, oops. So, the ship catalog is the ships that you can see that are available for you to salvage, but I just kind of messed that up, so let's just continue right, salvaging the one we have. Just another credit. Today's goal is to complete your certification rank two. And in order to do that, we're going to have to light up that new split saw mode you just upgraded in the half. Go ahead and equip it now. Alright, so here's the split saw. Which cuts like a saw and then I can also rotate it by hitting two and then right click nice work there, Cutter. to a vertical it's saw. Time to take the training wheels off and let you loose on this thing. My advice is to knock out your work order first and then see if you can salvage every last bit of the training vessel. We call it using the whole buffalo. So this is not walk not right Cutter. Get him, tiger. The split saw is a lot less accurate, um, but it's faster, much, much, much faster. All right, so when you grab salvage, it will tell you uh, where it should go. This salvage should go into the processor. Basically, the order of things is components of ships go into the barge, um, hull parts, external hull parts go into the processor for the nanocarbon. And then internal parts like titanium and aluminum go into the furnace. You make more money by putting stuff into the barge, a little less money by putting it into the processor, and very little money putting it into the furnace. You could, however, throw the hull into the furnace, uh, but it would destroy the nanocarbon, and you would get very, very little money as a result. So it's much better to put things where they belong. So there is the... Nanocarbon, and as you can see in the work order in the top right, I have finished my nanocarbon. Uh, I also have to salvage soft crates, so hypothetically there are soft crates in here. Let me go inside. Uh, so, as you can see, this is a fully enclosed cube. I'm going to have to cut my way in. Now, you know the old adage, like, measure t twice, cut once. That applies here, too, because if you have bad cuts... Um, you, it will be very, very difficult for you to salvage it quickly if you cut it into a, like a dozen little pieces. So now this here is not nanocarbon, so it would go straight into the furnace and not the processor. Uh, the furnaces and processors kind of have like a gravitational pull or something uh, where you could sort of toss it in their direction and it will go in. Uh, the grapple here, the left mouse button is sort of the grab, and then right mouse button is to reel it in. As you can see, I can reel it in, but if you reel it in too fast, you can damage it, and then you could also hurt yourself. You could crack your own mask and kill yourself. Now, you do have clones, but you're fined every time you murder yourself, so don't rely on that. Alright, let's cut the remaining cut points here, and as you can see, the cut points are indicated in yellow. And then... Uh, the bottom should go into the processor. These are, of course, um, nanocarbon. 
The top is nanocarbon. And while we're doing this, as you can see, the certification here, I've already met the next quota. Um, but a lot of the times you're just going to be trying to earn technology points, and then sometimes you're just aiming to earn certs. Uh, so then the remainder of what I have to do here is probably into the furnace. Making sure I get enough of my aluminum to complete this work order. Whee! And again, yes, you could just like fling it towards it. Or, alternatively, you could just drag the whole thing, because all of this is just a loom, and throw it in. It's just a lot heavier. As you can see, I'm not really functionally moving it very much. Uh, once you unlock tethers, it's a lot easier to move bulk pieces, but uh, I cut that just for speed. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oops. My tether is... Oh, there we go. You can also reel yourself in, but of course, beware of the inertia you build up. Because you can easily smash yourself. And there we go. There is a successful shift. Um, Alright, so rank 3. I've been ranking up. And I get a little bit more grapple upgrades. Now, as you can see, I'm docked for the 1 kilogram of loom I destroyed. Uh, but for the most part, here is the breakdown. The nanocarbon netted me the most, as I mentioned it would, and then the aluminum that I got uh, does not net very much. You, when you're trying to make money to pay off your life debt, you really need well, to do bang for your buck. On complete and certification rank two there, Cutter. Now that you've proven you kind of know what you're doing out there, Lynx has a present for you. Go ahead and make your way to the equipment upgrade screen and let's see what we see. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friend. Let's select your next ship and head out into the yard to try them out. Alright, so here are the ships I'm offered. It's only a mackerel called Calamity 9. Um, but what happens is, when I claim this ship for salvage, I am forfeiting my last ship. So, on some of these, as you can see, you have multiple days. You have multiple days to salvage a ship. So... On a very large ship, it might take three days to salvage. Well, what you can do is you can salvage all the expensive parts in one day and then just, like, throw the rest of the ship out. Um, there isn't a lot of, um... Yeah, you forfeit the remainder, but there isn't too much of a penalty. All right, Cutter. This here macro is stripped down, but there's still plenty there for us to sink our teeth into such as how we're going to deal with the pressurized area. But before we get into all that, let's try out your tethers. Your tethers are far stronger than the line on your grapple. Use them when you're trying to move objects that are much heavier than you are. Also, tethers stack, meaning the more you use, the stronger the pull you get out of them. Right. If you put them in the right place, that is. Okay, so I need to tether the nacelles into the barge like that right click drag re uh, release very straightforward and the tethers as they mentioned i have infinite tethers right now which is not something you tend to have oops one of them i missed um the more you have the the more force is applied like i said tethers are your friends once you get the hang of them you can get pretty creative with how you use them. All right, now for the fun stuff. And when I say fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. <laughs> Next, we're gonna learn about pressurization. According to Lynx, decompression events are the number one cause of death. And as a result, cloning. All right, let's open up your scanner and see what we see. All right, so as you can see, airlock. Let's see if we can crack into this ship without making her pop. See that airlock over there? Let's go check it out. All right, let's pop the airlock. Airlock pressure levels dropping. 
Activate it. Using airlocks is always a good idea. But there may be times later when you encounter ships without functioning airlocks. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, Cutter. For now, let's get inside. Okay, so something important here. Alright, oh. let's see if there's a way to depressurize this sucker so we can get to work on it. Look for an atmosphere regulator. If it's working, this device will let us depressurize the room safely. You don't want to trigger a violent decompression, believe me. Alright, so these keys are really, really important for you to find later on. They allow you to safely um, salvage thrusters. So collect them when you see them. But here is the atmospheric regulator that turns off pressure here. Alright, also X and Z controls your hands here, which uh, allows your you to grab onto stuff with magnetic gloves. That's your meal ticket right there, Cutter. Alright, this one's pretty easy. She should just slide out of her cooling casing with a good yank from your grapple. But before you do that, it's always a good idea to clear a path for her straight to the barge, because once you pull it, she starts melting down. And when it comes to reactors, you never know how many ticks you got until she goes boom. Alright. The way you complete your work order from here on out is entirely up to you. Let's show Link so Weaver still knows how to turn worms into shipbreakers, all right? Good luck, Cutter. Weaver out. All right, so as he explained, when you pull the reactor, you see its health points, two red, three yellow. It starts to tick down like a bomb, and it will continue to tick down like a bomb until it hits the barge, or explodes and kills you or destroys your ship. Um, so he said we should have a clear path to the barge, which would be down here. Ooh, I have infinite tethers, don't I? Um, so what I'm going to do is, now that we have a clear path to this barge, this is probably the simplest way. Uh, put a tether in the center of the Valuable reactor. Right here and pull it straight down to the barge like that. Easy peasy. Bye bye reactor! Work. Done. No problem Project at all. Alright, now I just need a little bit more nanocarbon. Um, there is no thruster. Normally the thruster would be back here, but there's no thruster on this ship. So if we want the remaining nanocarbon, and I have infinite thrusters, let's go ham and get that nanocarbon in spades. Ooh, a little upside down. If you get motion sickness, this game is definitely not for you. Alright, so what I just did was cut all the roof and floor panels off. Uh, you can also, as you saw in the little cutscene, daisy chain these together. And they'll follow the leader. Wee! Oh. Let me get that antenna out of the way. Oh, come on, antenna. Grab! Salvage secured. Credits deposited. And as you can see, they're all pulling one another into the processor, which is going to be all my nanocarbon. Looks like you can manage on your own for a bit, which is good, because I just got to find another worm on a salvage station on the other side of Earth Village. Just a reminder that your training amounts for O2, tethers, and fuel will be reset once you start your next shift. I'll be back to check in on you from time to time, but until then, remember this. Measure twice, cut once, and tethers are your friends. Good luck out there, Cutter. We wrap. Alright. So, I could just keep harvesting nanocarbon, but this game is better if you just chase your certs and level up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Rather than salvage the whole buffalo, as they call it. Oops. So let me reel myself in. Try not to do smashy smashy. Now, for this tutorial, I've had infinite O2, infinite tethers, infinite fuel, infinite everything. Uh, but if you run out of stuff, this is your console to buy from. And as you can see, you could buy 
repair kits for your suit, utility keys, patch kits, or uh, repair kits for your tools, uh, patch kits for your suit, tethers, fuel, oxygen, nice so on and so forth. All right, enter the hab. Hey, Jack Bright. Thanks for uh, stopping in. All right, so now I'm a beginner. I unlocked a ton of uh, different stuff, made a little money, uh, but I, of course, owe in, you know, I owe still almost a billion. And as you can see, there's a daily fee. Uh, Alright, so for equipment here, I have 300 uh, points to unlock stuff. So I could either get Stinger Range. Stinger, you don't use too much. Uh, heat Capacity is really good. Um, I could get Grapple Strength and Tether Amount. I'm probably going to lean towards Tether Amounts because Tethers are amazing. Um, thruster, Speed, Fuel Capacity, they're pretty good too. Um, scan Mode Objects is really great too. I actually might need scan mode objects first, uh, to be honest, so I'll buy that. And as you can see, yeah, it's been deducted. Uh, you could also increase your um, O2 capacity, which is very, very important, and your suit integrity. I don't foresee that I'm going to get mashed up in my suit. Um, and let's do grapple strength. No, I'm not going to do grapple strength. I'll just save up. Okay. So the next cert here, I need a crew complete five more work orders. I need to get a class one reactor, a power cell, furniture, and make five million credits. So let's go start on that. Start shift. So I am now ship grade two here. Um, let's pick a ship that has three days of salvage here. Just so that if I need to take my time to explain what I'm doing, I can take that time. All right, Cutter. Now that you've completed your training, you're only about a billion credits away from paying off your debt to length. I know the thought of making 10,000 credits, let alone a billion, sounds impossible right now. But I can assure you it is within your reach, if you put in the work. You've got the DNA to be a great salvager one day. Literally. Your report here says your blood work confirmed ideal genetic makeup, physique, intelligence, and psychological profile for the position of shipbreaker. I'm guessing that means Lynx thinks you're less likely to blow yourself up. Let's see if they're on to something. Complete your work order and return here to your hab when you're ready for another ship. And careful with that reactor. One false move and you're gone. And a whole lot of credits pour. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. All right, so we're going to enter so it doesn't have a explosive depressurization. Uh, some ships will also have stuff like repair kits, oxygen, fuel, medical, um, that you can use if you uh, get wounded or need repairs. The repair kits um, go into your inventory. Everything else is immediately used. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Let's see our work order. So the work order is for the reactor, a power cell, nanocarbon, metal, etc. I'm going to start um, getting the nanocarbon going by getting these external panels salvaged. Um, and then we can also get the reactor immediately. So that's not too, too hard. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. And I'm going to try for the whole buffalo, as as they say, on this Caution. work order, and take low. everything. Right, let's take even the, um, oh, let's not bash our heads with that, Salvage the soft crates, secured. everything. I want, I want everything here. But what's most important is that I'm working towards my certifications, which is power cell, furniture, uh, that kind of stuff. Now, I don't think, yeah, there's really no furniture on this ship. Some ships will have seats and stuff like that which are is furniture um so you know i'm actually just going to work straight away on the tasks at hand so i did unlock the let's get this out of my way though i did unlock the object scanner so here's the structural scanner which shows me the weak points the object scanner will show me the objects so here we have a power cell embedded in the wall on the other side of the wall uh, i'm gonna grab this fuel so i don't rupture it and my power cell is right here so I'm going to cut a portion of this wall out to access this power cell. And drag this chunk 
of hull. And as you can see, the power cell is attached to the other side. Let's grab the power cell out. Now the power cell is, um, I damaged it a little bit. As you can see, it's missing one of the yellow squares, but that's not gonna dock me unless it breaks. There we go. Now we have the power cell. Oh, uh, where'd that secured. piece of Account metal go? Eh, it doesn't really matter. It's not worth much. Um, now we just need to salvage nanocarbon and metal. So let me work on the nanocarbon first, which would be the external hull of the ship. This one is easy. Um, easy to do quickly. So we can just basically rip the roof off. Uh, but as you can also see, my um, oxygen and my... Well, my oxygen is kind of running low. You don't want to asphyxiate. That's a really easy... It's an easy way to die, and it's very avoidable. Uh, why are you... What is going on with this tether? This thing is not being dragged. What are you, just like magically... Resisting tethers? Now, I didn't pull off the cargo hatch on the top of that. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Go. <laughs> it's like... It's like being held back by a ghost. Oh, you know what? It, it thinks it's still glued to the entire hull. Look. It's dragging the entire ship with it. Alright, let me go get uh, oxygen before I run out. I don't know. It's actually a bug I haven't seen before. Oops. Ouch. That hurt a little. Often when you damage your suit, it like you get random radio music and stuff, which is pretty cool. Alright, I'm out of tethers, so I will good old fashioned shove this to the processor. And let me go re-up my tethers. Warning. Tethers depleted. I know, I know, I know they're depleted. It's like a fish that's fighting back, yeah. Well, the whole ship is is headed into the processor, which is not great. Thank you for your purchase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this whole ship. Uh, these little jacks, or whatever you want to call them, act as anchor points. So um, they, these these are immobile. They do not move, but they can they can be used as like anchor points. Because I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, now it's now it's unattached. Cool. I think. No, it, there's like an invisible wall here. I'm just going to ignore the, that panel because it won't work. Um, Alright, I did take a little damage. So let me heal. Uh, what else? We are going to separate the front section. So the front half of this ship here... Um, is actually still attached because of the airlock, so let me pop this open. How it has power, I don't even know. Airlock pressure levels dropping. But, uh, as you can see, all I need left is some nanocarbon, which is not that hard to do. Eventually, you're gonna have work orders to get, um, mechanical and electrical parts out of the ship, too. Uh, which would be, you know, handles and stuff like that. Um, you know, air pressure locks, etc. Come on, let me in, let me in. If I view the structural points, as you can see, they're... Right, I'm just going to cut my way through. Yes, my lightsaber. All right, let's hit the structural points. Now, this is a... Uh, this is a giant vat of, like... Oh, ow, it just blew up on me. It's a giant vat of coolant that you got to be careful with because it can hurt you. It's not as bad as rupturing fuel, but it can hurt you, and um, it will basically damage all the parts it comes in contact with. And uh, having it explode on your face like it just did for me, uh, not so healthy. Alright, so the remaining nanocarbon I need uh, is going to be pretty easy to get if I just cut the side panel off. Alright, so let's view structural. And then this, of course, is fuel. Fuel tends to be near the back or the thrusters of the ship, 
and then um, the coolant tends to be in the front. Tis the way these are built. All right. Is there other structural points that I've not yet cut? Not that I can see. Will this panel... Yep, there goes the whole panel. Let's do two tethers just to pull it quicker. And I'm more interested in just, like, hammering out these work orders. Um, whoa! You don't belong in... Oh, well, whatever. All right. There's the end of the work order. And rather than doing the whole buffalo like I said I would... Well, I don't know, I could make a little bit extra money just, like, using the remainder of my tethers Caution. just to pull... Tether supplies running low. Pull parts in. Now, some of what's in here in the in the cockpit, in the fuselage, whatever you want to call it, is um, electronics and stuff like that that I won't get credit for unless they're put into the barge. Um, but I would say it's generally better to salvage it ineffectively than to not salvage it at all. Material deposited. Warning. All right. No tethers remaining. Show you Yoda. Hey Yoda. Woo! It does feature one Yoda. <laughs> Deposit not accepted. So some of that, of course, destroyed glass, destroyed electronics, and stuff like that, but a lot of the nanocarbon that was in that cockpit will be processed. And there we go. Finish the work order. Enter the hab. I'll show you how to tell your suit health before it fails um, next salvage. So now I have a little bit more equipment points. I'm a little bit less in debt. As far as equipment goes, as you can see, the my tools do take damage, and they don't get repaired. Uh, let's increase our max tether amount, and then we don't have anything left over for anything else. That's fine. Start the shift. So, my certification, I need furniture, and one more work order, and a bunch of money. Uh, so if you start a shift, some of these... Uh, so these are all light cargo, and this is a station hopper. A station hopper is going to have furniture, whereas the light cargo is going to have cargo. I need to salvage furniture, so I'm going to go with uh, this shift, the Klein. Klein, are you there? I'm salvaging you. Uh, because it's it's more likely to have seats. All right, Cutter. This here's another macro. Just a little history lesson for you. The entire macro class was decommissioned once they juiced the force of the rail gates. Link scooped up thousands of them on the cheap. Now finish up your work order and salvage as much as you can of each ship before moving on to the next. We call it using the whole buffalo. Alright, so around. the suit health is just to the right of my health. You'll see uh, four squares, two yellow, two red. The yellow squares is damage that my suit can take before it's bad, before it starts leaking O2 like crazy. And then the red is like, you're leaking O2 like crazy. I'm sure at some point I'm going to have suit damage and helmet damage and all that. Um, pressure levels dropping. But let's hope I get a little bit more done before that happens, because progress. All right, so here we go. Work order is just about the same. Reactor, power cell, nanocarbon, metal. Uh, but as I did mention, this is a station hopper, and here we have a bunch of furniture that I'll be able to salvage as well. All right, so let's turn off the atmosphere. Atmo off. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay, the cockpit wasn't pressurized. Grabbing all the repair kits, because I can save them for later. Let's pop this door back open. Airlock pressure levels dropping. All right, there seems to be a wall between me and the reactor, but I could just rip the door off. Uh, and let's do the reactor first. The reactor, as you can see up here uh, in the top right, I get... Uh, 80 tech points for the reactor, 35 for the power cell, 30 for the nanocarbon, and 14 for the metal. The reactor is obviously the most bang for your buck uh, in terms of trying to tech up. And on these macro class ships, the reactor is also stupidly easy. There's nothing complicated about doing that. Just don't let it blow up on you. Now, this ship 
does indeed have a thruster, unlike some of the previous ones. So I can also harvest this thruster, which I will do. Um, let me demonstrate doing that properly. So on larger ships, there will be like thruster controls to dump the fuel of the thruster. On this one, um, it just has a thruster cap that doesn't even look attached. Interestingly enough, sometimes the thruster caps are attached. So just pull off the thruster cap. Oh, t saying thanks for all the bits, buddy. And welcome to the stream. Hope you can learn a little bit about this game. All right, so now that I've ripped off that thruster cap, steer it into the salvage, uh, this thruster should slide out nicely. It can be damaged pretty easily, so you got to be careful not to damage it. Thrusters out, and into the barge you go. Yoink! And I don't have a work order for the thruster, but uh, it's money. Same with the nacelles that are on the side. They're all money. You know, you want to get as much money as you can. So now the thruster and the reactor are gone. Uh, let's cut these corner pieces off. And yeah, I'm just sort of... Sort of cutting like crazy there, but, uh, you know. Don't really matter to me. Alright, now the whole back section should go into... Alright, so if you ever have a red tether... Red tethers mean it doesn't have an active line of sight. Which, uh, basically means that the tether will be broken. And I'm just pulling these fuel tanks off uh, before they get salvaged into the processor. And throwing them into the, uh, into the barge. Alright, uh, next work order is the power cell. So let's switch to my scanner. Actually, my O2 is kind of low. Let me just grab some O2. And... My fuel's low. Here, let me get this door out of the way. I'm also going to need to get the furniture for my uh, certification. Let's work on the certs first. Or no, I'll do the power cell. That's not too hard. So the power cell is behind this wall. Uh, so if I want a clear path to barge the power cell, uh, I'm going to want to blow out the bottom panel here. It'll be a little bit easier. I use the stinger. Oh, uh, what's... There we go. And let's start grabbing this furniture because it's just going to be in our way. It's clunky, but um, they're not too, too heavy. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All right, I'm pretty low on fuel, so I might need to go over to my... Uh, over to the console and re-up my fuel. Credits deposited. But I still have I still have ten minutes left. Right, there's some furniture. The work order is so that work order is for further building something. You're, I'm basically just a trash master, yeah. The work order is like what they want to see done. Uh, that I get technology points when completing. Um, which unlocks better tools. So there's... There's sort of three currencies going on. There's tech points. There's money. Well, I guess two. There's tech point, mo tech points and money is sort of the two main. I wouldn't really ever worry about money. You know, the, the goal, of course, is to get out of debt. But, like, that's kind of a long-term goal. Um... Working on certifications and tech points, I would say, is more fruitful. Oh, what do we have here? We got a object to pick up, a data drive that we can analyze. Oh, it's an audio log. Let's listen to it. Here is the machine. The machine is gone. Do you understand? Uh, no. Uh, no. I don't think you do. Here is man. All mankind. Spreading out, spreading, 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 like roots of a tree through endless stars. And then there is the machine. The machine is going to stop the roots, the growth. The machine will unify us as minds in one body, a body that cannot age or grow or die. We will experience eternity in an instant and last until the end of the universe. Do you understand? The machine is what we become. I know this because I am a messenger. An angel. If you know that. 
Yes. Angels are messengers, so I must be an angel. An angel for the machine that is God. And that is what I am. I am here to join you to the machine. All right. Interesting audio log. Um, what else? So we have a little bit more for our certification. We have a little bit more furniture uh, to harvest. So let's take the cockpit chairs and then reset. Yes, there's a lot more of this ship intact that I could grab, but um, you get more bang for your buck hitting the certifications and work orders. You get money for doing everything else, but um, as I mentioned, money is not a currency you really have to care about. You're going to be in debt, like, forever, more or less, so might as well chase the other rewards. Okay. With time to spare. Yeah, like student loans. Exactly, Xanth. Uh, so I made a, a mil, almost a mil and a half. Easy peasy money. I got some tech points that allows me to... And here's my docked pay. So I, I had I paid interest, um, all the rental fees, etc. Oh, about half a million every day. My tools, let's see. Mm, cooldown would be good. Uh, grapple strength wouldn't be bad. Oh, uh, thruster speed would be great. You know what would be awesome is uh, oxygen capacity. So I don't have to suffocate. Get that. Start a new one. And we want another uh, station hopper. So the last one is a station hopper. That's going to have some chairs that allows us to get our certs up. And we'll just keep working on certs. So this work order, let's hammer out this work order really as fast as I can, trying to make some money. So I'm still going to get the nacelles um, and the thruster. But basically, let's speed run this one now that you know what's going on so I can unlock my next cert. Because the geckos, the next class of ship, are a lot more complicated and, in a way, more fun. Alright, so there's some repair kits. Uh... There's a health kits, creepy ominous music. Air pressure level decreasing. Oh, there's a set of utility keys. Yoink. And another data drive. All right, this is the reactor room, so let's blow out the floors. Or floor. There's just one of them. Grab the reactor. Send it to the barge. Yoink. Uh, let's grab the thrusters. And then the power cell, get the nanocarbon. Basically, just sort of speed running. I mean, I could go faster, but... Power cell time. And then uh, after we do all the work orders, I'll do the furniture. Because we've got a furniture order. So where's the power cell? It is... Where is it? Oh, it's right behind these chairs. Okay. So these chairs have to move. I don't want to damage the chairs. So I'm going to use my stinger, or whatever it's called, for a little accurate cutting. Grabbing the furniture. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Furniture is um not too fragile. Salvage secured. Unlike Account most electronics, applied. as one could imagine. It's a lot more tolerant to being jostled and, and bumped and all that jazz. Salvage secured. Deposited. I'm also getting the uh, soft crates because they're floating here. Why, why not? Salvage deposited. 
deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I should be closing in on, uh... Oh, yeah, this will be the last chair I need. I think, right? Yep, all right, so my furnitures are done. Uh, the remaining, um, cert is just money. Uh, so let's get this power cell. And then I could try to do the whole buffalo on this one for the money. Okay, that's still locked in there. This time, let's see if I can't do this without getting uh, electrocuted. Nope! That was even worse. But the, uh, the power cell did survive. Didn't feel good. <laughs> Luckily, wasn't there a med kit in here? I'm not that hurt. I'm 79 out of 100. Not good. But there is a uh, there is a game mode in this that is dead is dead. I can't imagine how hard that is because sometimes you, you'll just have freak accidents, like something will smash into your face and you you just be instantly dead. All right, let's go for whole buffalo this time. Caution, tether supplies running. Processing Harvest everything. Oops, I missed. What else? Easy nanocarbon. Come on, pull. Yes. Now I need a, uh, here. Uh, grab the fuel. And then let's slide into the crawl space and cut off the walls. Need to re-up my tethers. Oh, I guess I didn't, uh... I'll cancel my tethers. I didn't actually free that properly. Valuable yes, I know on the, uh, on the larger ships, on the geckos, you do have to be careful because large objects will collide. Oh! Speaking of collide. No, I don't want to end my shift. Uh, speaking of collide, uh, let's not smash. All right, what do we need? We need oxygen fuel tethers. I'm not going to worry about the complexities of larger ships until I get there, though. So now the only thing holding back my next certification is uh, money. So let's make as much money as we can. I'll show you, Yoda. I will do that while floating in space. <laughs> Here he is. Space dog. Zero gravity space dog. He just floats around. Alright, let's cut the other side panels off. You're much faster than the others you've watched. Ah, oh, well, thanks. I, uh, I try, I try to be good at the games I'm showing you all, so that I'm not looking like a dunce. Alright, I gotta be careful of the, uh, cryo that's right here. No need to freeze myself. Alright, another trick is to uh, hold. Uh, you know, I don't really have a upgraded uh, pusher here. You gotta be careful, like, grappling something and then force pushing it, because you can then push yourself back into the wall and smash yourself pretty good. I've probably killed myself that way more than even depressurizations. Right, let's cut this baby free. I think we're free now. Let's see, 
will that peel off? What is it glued to? Oh, wow, all of these. Jeez Louise. Kind of missing the point there, huh? No coolant tanks should be split open in the process of salvaging the ship. Oh, nope, there it goes. <laughs> I clipped it. Now, if you wanted to be more precise, you could use the stinger rather than the split saw. But it's so much slower. You want me... You want to watch me suck at a game? I mean, I will, uh... Next... Alright, how about this? The next ship I salvage, I will make all of the rookie mistakes and blow myself to smithereens to show you how much suck it is to suck at the game. How's that? All right, the remainder of this ship is, well, except the front, is basically just aluminum. Did I actually separate the front out? There's a lot of, um, no, I didn't. Fastest cutter in the West. Yoink. Deposit not accepted. All right. As I did mention, I wanted to whole buffalo this Caution. bad boy. Tether supplies are low. Uh, shut up. I have plenty of tethers. Most of this left is just debris. You can also um, thrust debris into... So all this, like, floating crap is just metal debris. You can... I don't have an upgraded tool for this, like a force push, but you can force push it in by holding F and you can All eventually right, charge up a force push. Well, I would say that was whole buffalo, except for like a shrapnel or two. I mean, there's basically nothing left. All right. So, I probably made the most money out of this one because I did whole buffalo style. I wouldn't say that that's best bang for your buck. Like, a lot of the times just doing the high-priced work order is better to make money than to try to be efficient. Because I made 2.3 mil, but it took me, like, twice as long. But there we go. Quota complete. I'm now a new rank. Um, let's complete the shift. So I did promise that I was going to absolutely decimate myself on this one, make every possible mistake for your entertainment. Uh, but first things first, let's go upgrade. So tether lifetime is kind of nice. So here's the charge force push I was talking about, but I don't have enough points for that. Um, I'm going to do thrusters so I can speed up a little bit more. Okay, so starting shift, my next certification is 12 work orders, two reactors, two thrusters, and a bunch of credits. Pretty straightforward. Uh, if I start the shift, here's the logs. Uh, these are all mackerels, but I'm gonna go to like, yeah, let's screw up this one. This, this works. All right, so just to preface, I'm fully intending to like blow myself apart here. So let's make the first mistake of too much inertia. All right. Detected. So now my suit is a little damaged. For helmet repair costs. And then, oh, oh. Oh, that wasn't fast enough. Come on now. Let's Tarzan my way into my own hab. Oh, no! So now I have um, critical suit damage, and as you can see, my O2 levels are plummeting. And now I have no O2 and my health is plummeting. This is basically death unless I get to a patch immediately. Um, which I might actually be able to do. Nope. I missed it. I patched right as I died. That's funny. All right. So there is collision deaths. Now let me show you what de uh, depressurization damage looks like for your entertainment. So here's the airlock. The airlock on this ship is protected by these like metal 
stuff. You could c cut this off and throw it into the salvage. But, um... This is a decompress decompression Air event. Decreasing. Air pressure level decreasing. Obviously, it didn't really hurt me, but it will make... It will make salvaging the ship a lot harder because it's it's blown off pieces everywhere. Um, now let's show you what a reactor explosion looks like. Hello, reactor. So this reactor here, as you can see is connected to the thrusters so it means it has active fuel but i'm just going to let this thing go critical so as you can see the health bar the health bar is over on this section here right now it's about to go critical and i'm just basically going to watch it go critical can i go into the furnace yes you could go into the processor and furnace and and actually the processor and furnace has a little bit of like a gravitational pull so it sucks things in um, if you, your thrusters, if you get too close to the furnace, will actually just not be enough. You'll have to, like, grapple Tarzan your way out. Alright, so here is a critical reactor. Grit meltdown imminent. And this is what it looks like. I, of course, died again. Observed. Yep. That's what happens when you uh, you don't treat your reactors nicely. It totally super explodes. Oh, and then on top of it, these fuel tanks are now spilling flammable poison gas everywhere. Easily ignitable. As you can see, like that. Uh... And then it's chaining explosives, right? Salvage destroyed. Don't do that. I'm being, you know, penalized for a ton of my destruction. Here, I'm, I'm actually going to make just a buck here, just to make sure that this isn't all negative. This thruster is actually somehow okay, even though a reactor blew up in its face. Uh, now, if you had force push, this would be... If you ever blow it up like this, it would be good to, like, force push this crap into the furnace. Because most of this is titanium and aluminum, you know, salvageable. Uh, so the last death. Let's do the furnace death. Furnace death would look like this. Once you get close enough, beyond roughly these yellow marks... It's, I'm actually full thrusting forward. As you can see, I barely can escape. It's like the event horizon of a black hole. I could escape by um, tethering myself to a wall like this and pulling myself out. But if you didn't have the presence of mind, you would burn up like this. Warning, fire damage. Links and I cooked myself. All right, so that is me demonstrating what not to do. Uh, let's end the shift and actually do one of these hard mackerels correctly. And a hydrate. Cheers. Now, as you can see here, the thruster is basically the only thing that, that earned me money. Um, real money. The, the rest of that ship I kind of just botched. But uh, purposely botched, for educational purposes. Um, all right, let's start a new shift. Oh, also, my equipment here is all sorts of messed up. And Aid Man wants to see Yoda. Here he is. Alright, starting a shift. Uh, let's do a three day salvage of the King of Allen. Actually, what are my current certifications? I need, uh. Okay, I just need work orders. That's fine. So start a shift of the King of Allen. You're a good boy. You're a bad co pilot, though. He's a very good boy. So as you can see, my work orders are kind of longer here. Um, so I need to harvest or, or salvage mechanical and electrical. Um, so these antenna here are electrical. 
And then the nacelles are mechano. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Now, if you look at the structural here, the attach points for these nacelles are internal now. They're not external, so I can't cut them from the outside. Your also, I'm really low on fuel. So, hopefully there's fuel in here. Your lock pressure level's increasing. Yep, there's fuel. And repair kits. Uh, let me vent. Air pressure level decreasing. And more repair kits. Repair kits are real useful and you can use them later. You know, they don't be, uh, unlike everything else, as I mentioned, they don't use up immediately, so you can stock up on them, they're nice. So this one, I won't botch. But uh, I do have a, a few more work orders than I had before. So the plan is to try to get all those work orders done. Oops, some keys. If you'll flush for the thruster. Now this thruster cap has these, um, these caps here. You can cut them with the split saw but you do run the risk of damaging the thruster cap, which you can make a penny off of. So if you have the time, cut them with the, um, cut them more carefully. All right, so here comes the thruster. Big old yoink. What are the keys for? Eventually the keys will be for um, sort of flushing fuel out of the thruster systems, because otherwise your thrusters will um, burn up and explode and is no good. So you need the keys later on. I don't need them yet, but you definitely need them later on. Um, all right, so let's go harvest the nanocarbon out of this. And keys are, unlike everything else that you can buy at, at your little, like, at, at your kiosk, uh, keys are a little bit more expensive than everything else. They're, they're still worth buying, but they're a little Salvage bit more expensive. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Uh, next up, let's go... I should be going for the power cell rather than nanocarbon. Nanocarbon does pay for itself, though. Or actually, let's get the, uh, let's get the nacelles. So as you can see, there's, um, nacelles at the side of here. And if I check structural, where's the power cell? The power cell is... Um... Where's your stupid power cell? Uh, it's right behind here. Right behind this med kit. All right, med kit. I'm gonna cut you open. Stupid hard case. All right, so here's the power cell. Right there. Oh, there's a data log. And I haven't shown you how to analyze the data logs yet. I don't know what they amount to. I don't think they really amount to very much, but uh, there we go. Let's get that power cell intact. The last few power cells I've harvested have shocked me. Oops, that's a med kit. Uh, you stay there for later. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. All right, so power cell is on this plank. No shocky shocky this time. Done. All right, uh, now that we have a hole into the crawl space, we'll be able to get the nacelles. They count as mechanical. So as you can see on the top right, I need to get six mechanical. Uh, the four nac nacelles are gonna be progress for mechanical here. When you push the nacelles out of the ship like I just did, you gotta be careful not to push too, too hard because what will end up happening is they will um, they could go into the furnace and you don't get credit. I'm flushing the fuel out of the uh, fuel lines here, which I should have done before doing the uh, thruster, but whatever. All right, so there's, come on, let me through, let me through. Two of four nacelles. I don't think I have a uh, crawl space into the other side. No, I don't yet, so I'll have to cut one. I choose here. Alright, 
there should be a nacelle right here that I uh, so capably blocked with this giant piece of metal. And as you can see, my mechanical is going up and up. All right, the other, uh, the other nacelle is behind the airlock here. So to, for me to get to it, I'll have to cut around the airlock. I'll cut here. Thank you for watching the very first episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker, which was the first hour and five minutes of the stream that was live June 28th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, drop me a line in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next episode. Adios.